this character. He's been in the cold there. How long, Gray? Morning to you. How long have you been out there in the cold waiting Good morning, for us? Morning, Andrew. Uh, just about an hour and a half. <laughs> well, just appreciate about 6 it. Six a.m. Thanks very much, mate. Uh, have you enjoyed this character? Oh, he's great fun. You know, you, you come into to a soap like this, and uh, that's the character to play the villain. Always much better fun. Yeah, we'll just take a quick, uh, quick clip. I don't know if you can actually see this, but you'll certainly be able to hear it and hopefully remember it. We're just going to play it in. Hold on. So you killed him. I accepted that. Maybe I'm a mug, maybe I'm stupid, but I thought it'd fizzle out. Where was my self-esteem? I loved him, Tony. I know you did, darling. I loved him more than I've ever loved you. Is that right? Yep. Well done. Did it take a lot to, to, to actually sort of pull that sort of emotion out? People don't always associate the soaps with this level. I mean, this is, this is good work, isn't it? I, I think we're quite pleased with it. It's, uh, it's been a long storyline uh, trying to get it through. Um, Alison King's just a, a dream to work with. It's been great fun. And are you about to confess all your sins there? Because there's certainly an edge to you. Uh, yeah, she, she pulls all the, the information out tonight. I think Tony's worried that she's going to leave him and uh, his world will fall apart. It, everything he's done is for Carla, actually. So the thought of her leaving uh, pushes him to this confession tonight. Um, and it's quite climactic, actually, and uh, it gets a bit wet in Weatherfield later. OK. Is that, like, on your face, as in crying? Bit of that, and uh, the heavens open a bit, and uh, we'll see, get rid of the snow and see some serious rain tonight. And what do you do? How do you cry? on screen, how do you turn it on? Do you think about something from your own life or is that, I mean, I, I suppose yeah. that's just trained. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, something, um, some, something, something quite emotional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you, won't, you, you couldn't possibly tell us what that is, could you? Well, uh, it's, uh, it's my, late, my late father, actually. Mm. My and late he... father's been gone about eight years. Unfortunately, it's starting to fade, that memory, but um, that's what I, I still managed to summon that up. It's a thing called sense memory that we uh, remember something dark from the past. And uh, it's quite a horrid thing to get through, but um, it's, it's, part, it's part of the process. It's the process I use anyway. Uh, and Gray, didn't he love Coronation Street? He was the biggest fan. Uh, he walked in the kitchen uh, when he was watching and, and you were told to shush and get out. And uh, I think he'd be quite tickled sitting up there on his bench watching it. Um, he loved Bill Tarmy, he loved uh, Jack Duckworth and... Uh, that was, um, yeah, I, th I think he'd been enjoying what's happening just now with Tony. I know you've had a great deal of success in the past in your, in your chosen profession. I know he would have been very proud of it as well. But it's funny how parents always go before you do something that you know they'd be really pleased with. Yeah, I, I, years and years and years ago, I had a tiny little part in Tiger, and that was him. He was, he was quite chuffed with that because he didn't have to go to the theatre to watch me in some god-awful play. Uh, it was something he watched, and he was... He was quite tickled. He wasn't great for showing, showing his emotion, but, uh, yeah, I, I knew he was quite proud. And wasn't um, his grandson, your son, Connor, in uh, one of the episodes? Connor was uh, on this very street on the cobbles uh, playing keepy-uppy. Uh, Connor, uh, I know you're watching just now. Get your shower and uh, I'll see you tonight. That's a surprise, because you're not expecting me tonight. Well, he is now. Oh, well, <laughs> given that one. Gray, thanks ever so much for being out in the cold with us. Uh, no, snow, no snow up there. Manchester? We haven't had it much snow, really. We haven't had a great deal of snow, and it's, it's not so bad today. It's not quite as cold as it's been this week.